So I wanted to go back to the overview um, and uh, make an, an important um, additional comment. Um, and that is that uh, up to this point in time in Chapter 1 in kinematics, we've been studying motion. Motion itself, the idea of um, displacement and how um, displacement leads to, leads to the idea of velocity because velocity is displacement over change in time and change in velocity leads to the idea of acceleration because acceleration is change in velocity divided by change in time. Um, and, and so when you look at uh, Newton's laws here, um, what we're really doing is we're studying the agents of change in motion and the the one that's going to be of predominant importance to us is acceleration. So that's this second equation right here. Um, if there is a non-zero net force acting on a body, it will accelerate. Um, and so that's what Newton number two says and Newton number one takes the special case of F net is equal to zero in, in which case A is equal to zero and, and velocity is constant. Um, so I wanted to um, get that on the uh, on the table. <clears throat> um, okay. So let's uh, let's start with uh, an example of uh, drawing force diagrams. All right. So um, this um, YouTube is going to be about um, systems and force diagrams. If I can get this thing working here. Okay, so it's um, systems and force diagrams. So um, what we will always do is pick an object to study and that's what the book calls a system. And so they have a, a good example um, in the beginning of chapter two where they have a, um, a book on top of a book on top of a table. And so um, it's um, more or less like this. I'll draw it a little differently than, than them. Here is the table. And here is the uh, bottom book, which I'm going to call M sub A. Um, that corresponds to the mass of the book. And then sitting right on top of of the A book is this B book, M sub B, and they're actually touching. And so what we want to do is we want to um, draw a force diagrams, and, and uh, what we'll do here is we'll do, first of all, we'll start with book B, and then we'll go to book A. So first of all, let's do book B. And so to uh, emphasize that I want to um, look at that system, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw um, a dotted line around it, and that's going to be that's going to be my system. In other words, that's that's going to be what I analyze. Okay, so um, we will do um, a, an analysis starting with the system equal to M sub B, the top book. All right, so if this is M sub B right here. This is M sub B. Um, M sub B has two forces acting on it. Um, and it's useful to divide forces into two broad categories. Uh, I don't think the book does this, but I'm going to emphasize it because it's a conceptual, uh, good conceptual tool. There's two kinds of forces, just broadly speaking, contact forces and non contact forces. Okay, so contact so contact means it, it's touching and non-contact means it's not touching. So these are these are the two broad classes of forces. And so um, book B is touching book A and so book A is is um, pushing back up on book B. And so this upward force that I'm drawing here is the force of book A on book B. It's an upward force. The mechanism for the force is that um, since M sub B has weight, so that's the second force I'm going to draw, that's 
this force right here. This is the force of the Earth on book B, which is equal to m times g. Since uh, B has weight, book B has weight, um, it's being pulled down by the Earth. This is a non-contact force. Um, and as it, as it gets pulled down, it pushes against book A underneath it and it distorts the uh, molecules of book A downward. These molecules act like springs and when a spring is pushed down the spring pushes back up again. In other words, there's a reaction force. So think Newton number three in this explanation here. That's the physical um, explanation for, um, for this. And so as you can see from the diagram here, the, the net force F net I should put little vector thingies on top of here. F net acting on A is zero newtons. Now, what I also could have done is I could have taken um, A. I'm sorry, I meant B here. Excuse me. F net on B is zero newton. Zero newtons. Um, we also could have look, looked at um, uh, MA, book A as the system, and so let me just uh, highlight this with a different color here. So I'm now indicating that my system is this green system, and um, that's going to be my second analysis here where I do system is equal to M sub A, that would be the bottom book. Okay, so what, what forces are acting on M sub A? Well, first of all, there's M sub A. There is uh, a downward non-contact force of the Earth on A. So uh, what I'm going to emphasize here is that forces always have agents, the Earth, and objects upon which they act on A, since we're analyzing A as a system, it's acting on A. And, and then there are two um, objects that are touching um, book A. And so it's touching the table. The table is um, pushing back up on, uh, on M sub A for the same reason that the book A pushed back up on book B. Um, that is because the book A, M sub A, is pushing itself into the molecules of the table, which are being stretched down like springs, and they're pushing back up. And so um, we're going to put a little arrow like this, and we're going to call that the force of the table on A. There is no force of the table on B, um, because B is not touching. Um, um, a, uh, the table. And in addition, um, there is a, um, um, there is a force, uh, downward of, um, um, there is a force of the table upward on A, and, uh, there is a force, um, downward, um, of, and I'm, I'm going to add it right here, of um, B on A. And so that would be, that should be equal and opposite to this force. So uh, let me just make these consistent here. Make this so that this is the same. This is the same length of that. It's equal and opposite to it. And uh, what I also need to do is, um, since I know that F net on B is equal to zero newtons, um, I also need to fix the length of this vector so that the sum is equal to zero. So I'm going to make this so that this is equal and opposite to that, so that the net force on B is equal to zero. And that's true because both of these are at rest and remaining at rest. And so, um, by Newton number two, the net forces are equal to zero. Okay, so um, we've taken a situation and defined 
first of all a system of the top book um, and draw and force diagrams uh, that are acting on that on, on, on the top book. Um, we've parsed the forces into two categories contact and non-contact and then uh, for the second um, analysis I've taken the uh, M sub A, the book on the bottom, um, to be the system of interest and um, I have a, a different um, um, force line up there. I have one extra force um, acting on um, on A as opposed to uh, acting on B because in addition to the force of the earth acting on A it's touching two things. Um, a is only, uh, B is only touching one thing and so there's going to be this upward force of the table on A and also the downward force of B on A which is a result of Newton's third law. And so to connect the uh, Newton's third law th um, idea here let me let me do this I'm going to circle this and I'm going to circle that and I'm going to connect them and remind everybody that this is a Newton number three reaction pair. Um, okay so we have a special name for um, these kinds of forces here. These, um, the force that the surface of book A exerts on, us on, on book B, this force right here, is called a normal force. Okay, now normal um, in this context doesn't mean not unusual, it means um, perpendicular to. Um, and, uh, and, and indeed the force of um, B on A is, um, of A on B I should say, is um, perpendicular to the surface of, um, of A. Um, and so that's the normal force in particular, it's the normal force of um, book A on book B. Um, and then we have here, this is, this is also a normal force, this, this one right here. This is also a normal force. The uh, force of the table on A is also a normal force. It's a normal force of the table um, on A. And uh, this is the normal force of B on A. And, and so I'll label it. When you have one surface pushing on another, or one object pushing on another, and you have the scenario where you get the um, spring-like molecules in the um, and and one of the objects distorting and pushing on the other object that's a normal force and 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 the reason again it's called normal is because normal means perpendicular to the, to the surface and so let's let's write that down here we'll say note this is the this is a little bit of etymology for you note normal means perpendicular to surface. Okay.